everyone welcome back to another episode of star wars thrifting and today i'm gonna share some of my favorite personal items that i have in my collection that are actually uh clothing items that i picked up um i find them really rare um and i've been really fortunate enough to find uh lucasfilm skywalker ranch any things that are just really rare to pick up and find anywhere. Um, you have to kind of be like in the end to own these items. So I've been fortunate enough to come across these items during about my Goodwill trips or my flea market hunts, uh, just cause I do live really, really close to both those places. Um, I've just been really I happy to say that I own uh, quite a bit of a, a I mean, again, like I said, rare, rare stuff to have, and I kind of can't wait to show that with you guys today. We found this at the Anti Alameda Antique Fair, which happens once a month in Alameda. Uh, so I found this, it's a vintage Lucasfilm cap. Um, fair. I think I got it for like six dollars. Um, it is kind of a little, it's a little bent right here and like it's kind of lost its form, but just look at this, it's blue and off-white it's just i mean this screams like early 90s um to me if not late 80s um i absolutely love it and i actually wanted to share since i got it at the same place these cool vintage pins from um 1977 <laughs> darth vader lives um yeah this these pins are just so popular may the force be with you um, I got these pins over there too at the at the antique at the antique fair. But pretty iconic. <laughs> this is from Skywalker Ranch. Uh, this is obvious. I think it's if you can get it if you go to the store there. Um, for those who are fortunate enough to go to a place like this, you can get this at the store. And I found this at the Goodwill. So this is a recent find. It is the THX. Check this out. A nice cozy sweater. Look at the sleeve. It says Lucasfilm. Right on the sleeve also. This is honestly one of the coziest sweaters. It's a little faded, but I think it gives it character. Um, but yeah, I mean, can, and you guys, can you guys actually hear the sound this sweater makes? <laughs> oh, this is so good. Um, yeah, I found this um gosh was it two months ago last month i don't know anymore um yeah absolutely think it's great um they i've seen the jackets of thx jackets online like on depop and they go they're pretty pricey they go for about like 400 dollars um so i'm happy with my little sweater I've been lucky enough to go to two celebrations so far. I went to the one in Orlando, and then I went to the one in um, in Chicago. And I was supposed to go to the one in 2020, didn't happen, you know, it happened. Um, so hopefully um, like we get to go again this year, uh, fingers crossed. I Those are just some of my favorite experiences as a Star Wars fan, just to be there with other fans and, it's just much nicer there instead of like, guess the internet. Uh, but I had the best time at both the times that I went and it's just a great experience. I feel like as a fan, sometimes you just need, it's like going to, um, I don't know, it's just like going on like a nice vacation because you just need to recharge. I honestly feel like as a fan, I sometimes need to recharge. Um, and you know, cause just the fandom fatigue just kind of gets to me sometimes, but just being in there, being over there is so electric. Um, I found this, this is from the third Star Wars celebration in 2005. Um, this is a odd color but i don't care <laughs> um this is the third celebration that happened in 2005 um obviously that was all about revenge of the sith um and check this out i'm not a big fan of this material this rubber-ish material i've really washed this shirt um obviously so I'm going to have to just really choose the times I want to I'm going to wear this because I'm scared that this image will fade. Um, just cuz it's so like I don't know, rubbery. 
Um, that's even a word. Kenobi. Um, but look at that. Celebration 3. So sick. I did not go to the celebration, but now that I own this shirt, I felt like I was a part of it. <laughs> I have the shirts from the celebrations I've been to, so this is the celebration I, I wish I could have gone to, <laughs> for sure. Spirit of Celebration, uh, my friend Jason from Blast Points Podcast. If you guys aren't listening, please change that and uh, listen to it and thank me later. Um, they're really so great. Um, I posted something on Twitter I posted something on Twitter and I was, oh, I had saw this really cool hoodie and it was from the second celebration in 2002. Obviously, hello, they probably were talking about, I'm sure, you know, obviously they're talking about Attack of the Clones, my favorite movie. Um, I posted this hoodie cause I saw this on eBay, I think. And the, it was just for a ridiculous price, which I'm not mad at the price cause I believe it. Cause it's such a dope hoodie. Um, I was just like, wow, I wish I could own this. And Jason messaged me saying he actually owns a sweater and is willing to give it to me today. One, because it's really kind, honestly. Look, it's still thrifted. It's, you know, I got it secondhand. It's all about it. Um, but it's just, you know, it's coming from a friend that's even much more special. And it's my favorite movie. Um, and this podcast, Blast Points, they, can, they just... The way they celebrate um, this movie, I honestly, it's just what makes me such a big fan. You guys ready? You guys know, well, again, Attack of the Clones is very much my jam, but I am a simp, a, a simp for Django Fett. He is my ultimate, I have a huge Django Fett collection. It's just my, just my thing. I love him so much. Um, and yeah, this was just so beautiful. I cannot believe that I own this. Thank you, Jason. You're, are you joking me? Um, but yes, this is from the second celebration, Star Wars celebration. Check this out. Look at the sleeve. The sleeve is so freaking dope. Oh my gosh, like ultimate flex. I'm a very much like, you'll catch me in a hoodie all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just, that's just, I like to be comfy. Um, but definitely this is a highlight. So thank you, Jason, for um, this dope sweater. I will be wearing it at this year's celebration because one, the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones, this sweater is 20 years old. The 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones, hello, um, I'm wearing this. This one is from Facebook Market. Please, if you guys haven't dabbled in face on Facebook Market, please do so. There's people who just want to get rid of things because they just rather just, someone pick this up right now, I don't care. Um, someone got rid of this. I had a drive, I did drive to Berkeley for it. So it was about a 40 minute drive, don't care, well worth it. I got this. Lucasfilm coat that the vendor said, or the, it, it used to belong, it, it was a family member who worked at Lucasfilm and they were just downsizing. But I think they've got this, like, I think um, worked like during the 90s. Anyways, I don't know, but look at this coat. It's a Lucasfilm coat. It's not like a patch. It's like really like sewn in into this jacket in a way. Um, and then you have like the corduroy collar. The brand is Land's End, which is a very nice brand. But this is very much a vibe. Fall vibes. Love it. When I was there to go pick up that coat, they said, hey, we actually have another jacket if you're interested. I got that coat for $15. And they said, well, we'll be willing to go for 20. I'm like, okay, sure, let me check it out. Okay. What? This is the episode one Phantom Menace. This is a Letterman jacket, everyone. I don't know, this is just like, hello. Hi there, hi. Right, okay. I'm gonna put this on cause it gives me an excuse to wear it. Okay, this is the Star Wars L ILM VFX crew jacket from episode one. So, Honestly, if you guys, it's just, there's just so much history about that time and working on that project. And this is like the coats they gave to the crew members as like, hey, thanks for working on this. Here's our gift. Check this out. Are you joking me? Back there. Okay. 
Oh yeah, this is a vibe. Um, someone buy me a Harley so I can honestly ride the Harley just so I can wear this jacket and just look cool. Honestly, I probably would wear that. I'm just gonna wear this jacket even if I don't own a Harley, but you know, just the sentiment is nice. Um, yeah, check this out. So freaking sick. I was like, yes, please. So for that last coat, $15, I got this for 20. I, I got two amazing jackets that I'm gonna keep forever. Speaking of VFX crew, I got another, I got another one I wanna show you guys. This is from 2017. This is from The Last Jedi. This is The Last Jedi vest. Crew member vest. Check this out. It has the red lettering. Oh, this is so cool. This was a great pickup. Your Facebook market fine? It probably was. Or I did not get this at the Goodwill. There's no way. Um, gosh, what was it? I think it was a Facebook market find for sure. Yeah, definitely. 2015 VFX crew shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Force Awakens, baby. It has like that Ralph McQuarrie like art influence and it's Ray and no one knew who this character was yet. But look at it. It's so sick. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, this is so cool. I'm actually gonna frame this shirt. I wore it once and it was a great experience. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna frame this shirt. Um, Ray just is, means so much to me and that movie just put me in a better path after watching that movie for the first time being introduced to this character is awesome. All right, that's just some of my favorite items in my collection. Let me know if there's certain things that you liked more. Um, I'm on a hunt now for the first Star Wars celebration. Any shirt, any sweater, anything that I can get my hands on just so I can have all the prequel celebrations. Um, it's stuff so I can wear. <laughs> um, but yeah, I these are just some great, some of my favorite items. I'm so, again, I can't believe I own things like this jacket it's wild but i'm really grateful thank you everyone bye